I want to show you this tapping modality real quick and to share it with you and you can use it on everything. I, and I want you to just try it all day long on every emotion you're feeling. If you're in pain, if you're feeling sad, angry, depressed, whatever negative charge or negative feeling you're feeling inside of you, in your body, in your mind, anywhere inside, use this technique because you will, you will start to understand how you can change your emotions and you can change the way you feel. And that's the trick is to understand the power within. So, so here we will start off by, I just want you to start with going to an emotion. Maybe you've been feeling lately or maybe someone said something to you that bothered you or a pain in your body. Just do bring up anything that's, that has that charge, that negative charge. So I'll give you a second. Just pick, pick an emotion or a sensation. And once you're ready, I want you to rate that from a zero to 10. So 10 being the highest, of course, zero being nothing, no charge at all. So whatever number you have, remember that number, maybe write it down. It's always a good thing to write it down just so you remember where you started. And when you're ready, just follow me. So go to that feeling in your body that emotion, that charge, that you can hear something, see something, feel it. And when you got it, remember what number you're at, and then just follow me with, my, with your two fingers, take your two fingers, and tap with me. So right here in the middle of your eyebrows, say, I release and let it go. I let it all go. Whatever this emotion is, this feeling, this sensation, I let it go. And you wanna move it to the side. You can use both fingers. It's the side of your eye. You can feel it, it's a meridian point. And just say, I release and let it go. I let it all go. And then down here, right below your eye, right here on the bone kinda. Just say, I let it all go. Let it all go. This emotion, this sensation, this feeling in my body, I release and let it go. Then you want to tap right here in the, on your upper lip. I let it go. I let it all go. We do that for a couple times. And then we go right here in your chin. Say, I let it go. Whatever the emotion is, wherever it came from, this sensation, this pain, I let it go. And then you want to take right here in your collarbone, it's you've got a, your bone and it's two inches below it. Just say, I let it go. I let it all go. And when you're tapping, bring your attention to the tapping. So you're not focused on the feeling or the sensation or the emotion anymore. You're focused on what it feels like to be tapping. Just notice the tapping. Breathe. And you can grab your wrist, take a deep breath, blow it out, and say peace. And now I want you to go back to the emotion and the sensation you had before we started tapping, or the pain, whatever it was, and rate it again. So if it was a 10, maybe now it's a 9. Maybe it's a 6. Maybe it's still a 10. Whatever it's at, just just notice it, write it down, and then we can do another round. Just notice it, close your eyes, and just tap. I let it go. I release and let it go. You can say the emotion, so if you're angry, this anger, I release this anger. I let it all go. You can use both hands. You don't have to spend very long with the tapping, on the tapping points. It's like five times maybe. Go all the way through it again. And then collarbone. Grab your wrist. Peace. And you'll feel your body just 
relax. And now, to explain what we're doing here, the you have a meridian, uh, it's kind of like, if you've ever heard of acupressure, acupuncture, you have a meridian system in your body. It's an energy system. And you have these endpoints that are actually all over your body, but we're just using a few of the endpoints to tap on. And what it does, the tapping, is when you're tapping, you'll feel it, is it's like acupressure, is when they're pushing on the pressure point, it, it releases energy. Basically, it's the amygdala, the science behind it is the amygdala part of your brain, when you tap, is interrupted, and which is the amygdala part is where the fight or flight response is. So if you interrupt the fight or flight response, you can bring your body back into balance and therefore it goes back to homeostasis. So we all know that when you're stressed out, fleeing from your predator or whatever, when you're scared, that your body goes into this fight or flight response. And so what happens is you, you start, your body just shuts down all the organs it doesn't need in that time. It just uses what needs to be used and it speeds up your adrenaline, it produces more cortisol and all those chemicals that, you know, when you're in that state, uh, help you, help you get to where you need to go. But when we're in that state constantly, our bodies are out of balance and what happens is we get stuck there. And like chronic fatigue syndrome, it's, it's fight, flight, or freeze. We don't typically know about the freeze part, but we're stuck in freeze. So our bodies are literally stuck, frozen in trauma and in the stress, stress and fear. So what we do is we, when we're tapping, it brings the body out of the stress. It brings the body into homeostasis and back to balance and where it can start, the organs start functioning correctly, the blood starts flowing correctly to the other parts that it wasn't flowing to before, chemicals start to balance out and therefore you start to release the, the stress which therefore in turn heals disease over time. So if you do this enough, your body will heal itself because those organs are, are now working properly. They are getting the chemicals that they need, not what they don't need, and not an overload of the cortisol and all those chemicals that make us sick. So, so now I hope that you did get some sort of relief with this tapping. If you didn't, keep, keep using it. I mean, you might not right away. You might have noticed that you went from a nine to a seven to maybe a three, or maybe you just went down by 0.5, but anything is good. And if you didn't get any anywhere, just, just keep trying it. And um, I encourage you to use this throughout the day, wherever you're at. You can be at a grocery store or something. You start to re see maybe someone made a facial expression you didn't like, and it kind of made you stir. You got that charge in you. Just yeah, let it go. And you don't have to tap everywhere. Just just tap on wherever you want. Just tap on. I I'd sometimes tap both places. So if you're right here, you know, tap wherever you want to tap and see how it works for you. So I hope it helps. Thank you. Thank you.